One, two, three. Yay! Hi you guys, here I just all South Korea. I'm Jonghee from Hello Cake Cooking Class. Hey guys, to be honest, do you like kimchi? I'm pretty sure that a lot of people don't like eating kimchi, right? Because it has a strong, you know, smell and flavor. I really recommend this food for someone who don't like kimchi. Today, we are making kimchi pancake. You cannot imagine how different it is. So, hey guys, let's get started. So, easy ingredient, you can get amazing pancake. Cooking oil, I'm using soybean oil, but you can use any different types of busy oil except oily, except coconut and sesame oil soy sauce and beautiful kimchi I made this kimchi last December so this one is around one year kimchi and canned tuna and flour just a little bit of onion that's it let's get started we need to make batter first so I have flour or purpose one with this one tablespoon I'm adding five one two three four five then we need to get really great batter instead of the water or egg i'm adding kimchi juice what is kimchi juice Jonghee? if you make kimchi or if you get kimchi look at it with this cabbage it has a lot of you know watery things right this water is not just water you know a lot of fish sauce and chili and you know garlic ginger it's already amazing seasoning so let's add this one we add a five spoon of flour right and now i'm adding five spoon of kimchi juice one two three four five let's mix oh it's too black so i need more And we add half spoon of soy sauce and just one or two drops of sesame oil. Yep, and then mix mix. If it looks so thick, you can add more kimchi juice or really cold fresh water. So here guys, look at it. A little bit, you know, like the right but well, don't worry about it we will add more kimchi later so this texture is perfect for it so now we need to add canned tuna around 30 gram and everything then let's add onion now is the time we need to cut kimchi this one is fermented kimchi i don't really recommend cook this pancake with fresh kimchi so you need to get fermented kimchi fermented kimchi it has sour flavor mm. Mm. so fried with surgeon okay kimchi and here i'm using around this like 100 gram of kimchi let's cut with one bite size Like this, and then let's add everything. Mm. With juice. So now, let's mix again. Okay, guys, it's time to cook. With a high max fire, let's add enough oil. Okay, and let's wait until. Get this pan up. Korean in their refrigerator always have kimchi. Well, if someone don't have kimchi in their refrigerator, we can get kimchi every market. So whenever we want to get kimchi, whenever we want to eat kimchi, we can get really easily. So this one is super easy food. So I think it's done. So let's pour it. Let's put everything. Ooh. Let's make it flat. Flat, flat, flat. Flat, flat, flat. Okay. You can make a hole, then you can get extra crispy pancake. Then. Mmm, yummy sign. 
well. This one also rainy day food. Why? Because of this yummy sign. Mmm. It sounds like rainy day. So this portion is quite perfect for the one, you know, the round pancake. Let's leave it. Let's leave it. When the edge color turns to golden brown and it looks crispy, you know, it's the perfect time for flipping over. Okay, right now, I need to stand up. Okay, guys. One, two, three. Yay! Okay. Let's leave it. Let's leave it. Hmm. Normally, other different types of pancake, we need to dip in a special sauce. But this kimchi pancake, you don't need to add anything. It's already perfect. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So hey guys, it's done. Super simple ingredient and super simple the recipe. Just like you need to mix everything and then cook. That's it. And then you can get a really beautiful pancake. Right? Ooh, I can wait. So hey guys, thank you for watching my channel and see you next time. Bye bye. Ooh, this pancake it looks really yummy, right? So it's time to eat. So I love edge part because extra crispy. Mmm. Much flavor. Oh my god. Mm. And tuna. Mm. 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 So yummy. What are you doing? Cook this one straight away. Please do not miss this food. Oh my god. Mm.